Welcome to another video. This is a little preamble because when I was forced to download all my videos from my Google Drive account about one and a half or two years ago, some of them didn't make it and were lost to the binary ether forever. So um, that means that I will have to fill in a few of the holes that this left uh, into these coming three videos maybe so that they still make sense. But here's what's left. Since the last video, half a year has passed in which I focused mainly on work and a visit from my parents. Now a trip to three conferences and six capital cities begins. With a road trip to San Diego for the International IOSSI Congress, which is a conference for social insect research held every four years and which I have also attended the last time in 2018. taking a flight to Washington DC for a couple days of sightseeing. I was impressed by the big oaks outside and the big buildings. English has thousands of words. We don't use that much. But down here are the words we use all the time. Staying in a pot hostel, designed like a spaceship, Second day, I overslept like crazy because of the jet lag, uh, so I woke up at like 11, which is about an hour too late for the bike tour that I booked this morning. So yeah, I'm gonna make my way to the Smithsonian Museum first. Honestly, have been looking forward to the most uh, in my trip here in DC. Well, that was a great 45 minute start and I will certainly come back today, uh, that is after I have gone to the tour that I could actually reschedule to 2.30, graciously. Yeah, I plan on spending a lot of time in that museum alone, be all of my time. Washington DC, hold out your arms to me, oh, remind me that I'm home, home, remind me you belong to me. Six, really? And hey hey, in Helsinki. It's past midnight and there was still a um, shimmer of a sunset at the horizon. This is where my Airbnb is located. It looks like a relatively new apartment complex, so I am looking forward to that. It reminds me a little bit of my undergrad time in Lewisburg. I was also in uh, one of these apartment complexes for a while. And that was a way too short night. I think I'm not jet lagged, but just sleep deprived. But I still got up somehow. Took a somewhat cold shower and now I'm enjoying the beautiful morning before it's gonna start raining. And welcome to Tallinn, our fourth capital town in four days. I'm dubbing over again because of wind noise. 
I arrived a little bit late at my hostel last night, but it's still fine because I woke up early enough to make my way over the cobblestone into the old town of Tallinn to go to another walking tour. And I even had an hour or so to finish some analysis that the high school student of mine needs to have for his poster to present because he has to present, I think, next week what he has done in those six weeks with me for me, getting that done while I am on this frenzy of a travel. He is sitting there with no one to help. He's done a great job so far and I think he's gonna be successful in the end. And uh, now it's crazy how lively this city is. And I know it's just typical for European cities, but damn, all those people. Two thousand, because the Russians reintroduced uh, the sea to the Black Plate. the best walking tour I have ever had. Something interesting that I learned on that um, walking tour is that Estonia has an interesting past in that they were most of their time like slaves. So they stayed to either the Danish, the Swedish or the Russians or Soviet people and they always were kind of fighting for, for independence and power. Also interesting that Estonia has one of the highest rates of suicide in the world and highest rates of smoking which is apparent when you walk around and alcoholism which is also apparent especially when you when you take the ferry from Estonia to Finland. <laughs> Excellent.